All right, so here's part two, continuing from where we left on. We're going to go ahead and start on the door assembly. So the door is uh, 17 inches tall by 11 inches wide, and we're probably going to make it about a quarter of an inch deep. So the door is going to come in four pieces. We're going to have the two sides and the bottom. So I'm going to make it 17 by one half by a quarter deep. So I'm going to go file, new, to a part. And we're going to do the first part of it for on the front plane. We're going to do sketch. We're going to do a center rectangle. We're going to dimension that 17 inches by one half inch. And we will extrude that on the mid plane a quarter of an inch. And we will hit Control S. We're going to call this door side one. And we're going to go file new part. And we're going to do the same things. And then we'll hit Control Tab to go back to the concept. And so the frame of the door will be 11 inches. So we're going to do half, uh, 17 inches. Oh, sorry. Not tall anymore. Now it's just wide. So we're going to do 9 inches. So one half off here, one half off here. So we'll be doing 9 inches by. one half inch by another quarter. So file, new, part, sketch, center rectangle, nine inches by half an inch by quarter of an inch from the mid plane. And we're going to call this door bottom, then file new, part, and we're going to do the same thing. And now we're going to do an assembly, so we're going to do file, make an assembly from the part. I'm going to go ahead and pin this, do door side one, door side two, I do door top, and we're going to do door bottom. And we'll have a check mark on that. And then we're going to go ahead and make these components. So that's our basic door assembly. We're going to put a little doorknob here. Uh, we're going to do a pane of glass as a separate part and add it to this assembly. And we're going to figure out where the hinges are going to go here. So I'm going to hit Control 7 for isometric and Control S. We're going to call this the door assembly. And I misspelled door, but that's unfortunate. That's fine, I can fix that in a moment. So now we're going to go back to the first assembly we have. So we're going to hit Control Tab, go to the assembly, I'm going to insert a component, which will be the door assembly. That way we don't have to try lining things up over and over again. And we're going to do the same thing, we're going to begin the mating process. So even though we don't have hinges yet, we're going to go ahead and mate this line to that one. And we're going to zoom in a bit here and make this face to that one. Let's see if we can move it around just yet. So control 7 and full screen. Looks like 
might have missed these links here because that's too long. That's inside the door. All right, so the assembly should be better put together now that the door fits properly. I'm gonna press and hold it. Try to open it up, and we can open it. And so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do the back panel. Now, one thing I haven't done yet because I didn't get all the dimensions taken care of was uh, do the cutting. So in order to put the back panel on, we're going to want to do a half inch or maybe even an eighth inch cut uh, down the side of everything so you can inlay the door panel and then probably the similar kind of cut or even thinner for the glass panel. Uh, but that's it for this video. So this is part two of the uh, cabinet drawing assembly and uh, then we will actually uh, drawing with dimensions as if this was going to be something you would print out yourself. So thanks for watching part two and stay tuned for part three.